Pocket Clinician is giving what everyone is wanting. 15 easy to follow, simple to understand videos for you to ace every fundamental of an ECG. Content includes lead placement, AV blocks, SVTs, STEMIs and so much more. Here is what you could be learning right now to be as clever as this kid. Differences between first, second and third degree blocks. So the first, second and third degree block, they all happen uh, around the area of the SA node and the AV node. So as you can see, the first PR interval is 0 0.24 seconds. It then gets progressively longer and longer until there's a dropped QRS. Premature ventricular contractions or PVCs. Okay, so what you'll have is a normal PQRST complex that originates from the SA node. The AV node will then fire and then you'll get your QRS complex as usual. But then when a PVC happens, the impulse originates elsewhere than the AV node. So it can be anywhere in the ventricles, just not the AV node. So looking at it on, on an ECG, uh, you've got this normal PQRST complex and then what follows it is this uh, abnormal looking QRS complex that is earlier than expected. There's no P wave before it as well like uh, like the next one here. So you can see a P wave there but there's no P wave before the uh, PVCs. Easy ways to read an ECG. And today I'm going to be telling you an easy way to read an ECG because when we go to university we always hear about the 10 rules of reading an ECG. It's way over complicated trying to learn all of the different rules of all the different leads. First of all I'm going to work out the rate. So then we're going to look at the rhythm. So we go to lead 2. We're then going to look at the PR interval. So that's the start of the P wave to the start of the QRS complex. We're then going to look at the QRS width. Then we're going to look at ST changes. So what I do is I go in for the inferior leads first. So lead 2, lead 3, lead AVF. Uh, let's look at T wave inversion next. So there's no T wave inversions in the inferior lead, but there is in lead AVL. So then we can come up with our impression. So it's sinus rhythm because it's coming from the SA node and it's a normal uh, range of heart rate, it's 60. There's inferior ST elevation in free contiguous leads and lateral T wave inversion in lead AVL. And that's how you document that on your paperwork. So head to www.pocketclinician.co.uk to become an expert in the need to know of ECGs.